guys, it's Cameron here with the Family Outdoors, and today we are going to be making some spruce tip syrup. Stick around. If you're not familiar with spruce tips, here is what they are. They're basically just the soft ends on a spruce tree. They come in usually the spring, early summer, and if you pick them, they can make good syrup which is what we're doing for. So I'm gonna pick a bunch of these. You can see they're very soft. They will not stab out. And yeah, I'll just be picking these so we can make our syrup. In order to make spruce tip syrup, you need approximately two cups of spruce tips. So I'm gonna be here picking for a while, but for any of you guys at home who want to try this out, um, there are multiple recipes online, but most most of them use two cups of spruce tips. Okay guys, we are inside now and I am chopping up the spruce tips because we need them chopped up if we're going to make the syrup. Wait, you have to fine chop two cups of them. This is one cup and I'm fine chopping away. Hi guys, I've got my fine chopped spruce tips here. The finer you chop them, the more taste that will come, the more sprucey taste will come into your syrup. So now then, the next step is two cups of water. So we'll get those right quick and we're gonna put them into the pot. So here's one. And two. All right, now we need two cups of sugar. One. Uh-oh. Two. Okay. Now we're gonna rinse this out. And we shall stir this up. Stir up the sugar in the water so it's not sitting at the bottom. And now we're going to bring it to a boil. Okay guys, we're just going to bring this to a boil and then we are going to make sure all the sugar is absorbed. See you then. Okay guys, we're back and just waiting for the water to boil. Once it does boil, we're going to turn off the heat and put in the spruce tips and leave it steep overnight. It's up to you how long you want to leave it steep for. Um, we're leaving it overnight because the longer you steep it, the stronger the taste is. You, it's really up to you. Yeah, we're just going to leave it overnight. You could leave it one hour, half an hour even. Not sure how good that would taste. Just whatever think would suit yourself. As you can see here, the pot is boiling. So what we're going to do is we are going to turn off the heat turning it off and then we are going to add our fine chopped spruce tips 
into the mix. So, do not want this to splash. It's a lot of spruce tips. Fine chopped. Alright. Just gonna stir them in a little bit here. Um, tap off the bowl. Get all of the spruce tips out. There you go. Now we're gonna put the lid back on and leave it steep overnight. Um, well, I'll check back with you guys tomorrow. Okay guys, so it's the next day and we have left our spruce tip syrup to steep is in this pot. And now what you're going to want to do is get um, either cheesecloth or we used a coffee filter and get a jar or a cup that is large enough to hold all of your syrup. And put the coffee filter on top or cheesecloth, whatever you choose to use, and use an elastic so it'll make a nice little groove right there where the syrup can go into and strain all of the spruce tip out of it. Okay, so we are gonna do that. Okay, guys, as you can see, we have poured a little bit into the top. Um, it is pretty slow draining. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but there's like a singular stream of water right there. And it may take a while. Just fill it up again. Yep. Slow and steady. I've got my pancake on cooking to try the syrup, which will hopefully be done soon. It's just warming up. I've put it on low so it will not burn to a crisp. Well, we have got our syrup and it is all um, strained. We are going to put it on the pancake and try them out. See how well he does. It is certainly more watery than normal syrup or maple syrup. And now we can try them. I can get that piece out of my hockey puck here. And it tastes very good. It has a very sprucey taste. And it's very sweet. It does not taste like normal syrup though. It tastes better, I think. Yes, I would definitely recommend it. And that is good. And Izzy seems to want to try some. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, if you have any suggestions for future videos, write those in the comments below. Um, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Stay outdoors.